What is an inductive message? Well, this is a means of delivering information or a structure by which you deliver information to others. So when communicating, an inductive approach means that you give people information or anecdotes or evidence up front, all that leads to a logical conclusion. And it's at the end or at the conclusion where you deliver the objective statement of your message. Okay, so basically you're building support for whatever objective you have in the communication prior to delivering that information or asking for whatever it is you're asking for in the communication. Okay, so the crux here is that the central point is delayed until the end. Now, this is generally used in persuasive or sales type messages uh, or in situations where you need to win the support of others, or it can be used to deliver negative or bad news messages. Now, why is this? So first, for the persuasive or sales messages, oftentimes you have to convince someone. You have to persuade them to come to your, come around to your way of thinking, your point of view, or to buy your product. So in order to do that, if you were to ask them up front to simply uh, buy your product, or you were to make a statement where they're going to have a knee-jerk reaction, where they pull back and start discounting whatever you say or refuse to listen to what you're going to say, uh, then you've lost your audience. So first, you want to entice them. You want to give them the information that leads to a logical conclusion. So think of it as building your case. You're giving information selectively and in a structured format to ultimately lead to this objective of asking them to buy something something or presenting them with your point of view that you've already supported prior to saying it. Okay, and in the same vein, if you're going to deliver a negative message or bad news, you want to support that ahead of time to avoid or lessen the impact of the emotional reaction to the negative statement or bad news. For example, if I have to fire someone or let them go from their job, I may provide them support or information or reasons for having to do so. I may recite that they've been written up m numerous times or that they failed to perform certain tasks that they've been asked to do over time and how you've implemented corrective actions throughout that don't seem to have functioned or worked. So you're building towards a logical conclusion that the next step is that they're not a good fit here at the company and uh, they can no longer um, be retained there. So you've built your case. You've provided them the information ahead of time before you deliver the bad news. And they're listening intently, they're soaking in all the information, they're processing it, and you're trying to br bring them around to the conclusion that, well, this is the natural course of action. Even if they don't like it, even if it hurts, even if they disagree with it, they've still been presented with the evidence and your reasoning for doing so. So they can start to attack the reasoning rather than let the emotion of the scenario overtake the situation. So these are this is what is an inductive message, and these are some of the means in which they are used.